Hi, in this video we will optimize the direct access insertion sort from the previous episode. You may remember that insertion sort finds the index to insert to and then inserts the elements one by one. This algorithm adds structure to the array during the sort and when there is structure we can try to take advantage of it. When we look at the array being sorted, we can see that there are two different areas. The first half is always sorted and the second half consists of the to be sorted. I denoted these two halves uh, split by a pipe here. Insertion sort will look for the index to insert to in the sorted half. Last time around we did this with a sequential search, but for a sorted array we can do better. We can do a binary search. Doing this will reduce the number of comparisons during search, which is important when comparisons are expensive, such as during sorting arrays of objects in Python or in other languages. Binary sort goes like this. Split the sorted array into two halves, thus the name binary. If the middle element is greater than what we are searching for, then we should repeat our search in the left half. If the middle element is smaller, then what we are looking for, then we should repeat the search in the right half. If the middle element is the one we are looking for, we found it. If it is not, and we got this far in the conditions, then we can terminate and start is going to be the location where this element belongs to, but it is not present in this particular array. So once we have this algorithm, our insertion sort will look like this. Take each element from the list, same as before, Find the insert location using binary search, this is the new part, and then insert the elements to their sorted location. This is also no change. Okay, let's start typing. First, we need to create the binary search algorithm. This function will get an array, a start index, an end index, and a to find variable. And it will go through uh, the binary sections of this array. It starts with the loop, while the array has at least one element, so while start is smaller than equal to and, we need to calculate the middle index, which is going to be just simply start plus end divided by 2. And then come the conditions. If array middle is greater than to find, that means that the element we're looking for may be in the left half. So and should be middle minus one. And we can continue with the algorithm. Otherwise, we need to check if middle is smaller than to find. In that case, we have to check for the right half of the array, so we need to push up the start index to middle plus 1. Otherwise, if it's neither smaller nor greater, then this is the to find elements index, so we can just return middle. In our particular use case, this will never happen because we are looking for insert locations, and so this loop will terminate and we will get to the next statement, which we can just return the start index, which is going to denote the insert location of the to find element in this array. It might sound complicated, so let's see if it actually does what we are intending it to do. So let's print binary search, pass in some really simple array, just consisting of three elements, one, two, three, starting from index zero, and going up to index 2, let's search for 2. When we do this and run the code, we can see that 1, it's the first index. It is indeed 0, 1, 2, so it's, it's correct. Let's try something that's smaller than anything in this array. Yes, minus 1 belongs to the 0th index. Indeed, that would be its location if it was present at all. That's also confirmed for something bigger than what we have. So searching for 8 gives us 3, which means that it would be the next element after our current array, if it was present. 
OK, now that we have the binary search, we can write the binary insertion sort function. Binary insertion sort. It will get an array, and will look very similar to the simple insertion sort. We will go through all indexes, starting from 1 to the length of this array. Please note that we are starting from 1, not 0. And uh, the ith index is going to be the one that we are trying to insert, so let's just make a copy of it. To insert is going to be array i, and for this we are going to look up the insert location. Insert index will be the result of our new binary search function. We pass in the array starting from index 0, and we are going up to i minus 1, because i is the one that we are trying to insert, and pass in the to insert, because that's what we are trying to find. Now, once this returns, we know where we should be trying to insert this to insert element, but first we will need to shift the array to the right so that there is room for inserting it. I will need an additional variable for that. I will call that copy, just start from i, and in another loop, I will do while copy is greater than to insert index, we have to move elements out of the way. So array copy will be made equal to array copy minus 1, so shifting everything to the right, and of course we will need to decrement the copy index. And when this loop terminates, the array shift is complete, and we just need to add the to insert element to the same location as we did all the others, and when the loop terminates, this is going to be copy or to insert index, they are the same value at this point in execution. So this is going to be the to insert element. And this is it. Let's check if the program actually works. So let's execute binary insertion sort for our numbers. And then print what is supposed to be a sorted list of numbers. Then we run it we can see it is indeed sorted as it should be. This is it. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.